Hey guys, Erin here with another quick tutorial for you on using your Zillow at Cameo. Today we'll be filling letters with our real life photos. This is great if you want to do print and cut or if you wanted to save your file as a PDF and send it to a store like Staples and have it professionally printed. So we're going to make an image with my baby. She is a year old and at six months old she had a life-saving transplant. She needed a new liver. And we've nicknamed her Wonder Willow because of all she has been through and still going through. So I'm going to use a font that's superhero-like to put her pictures in. And these are all pictures from her 80 days in the hospital. So once you spell it out, you want to right click and hit ungroup so that you have all separate letters. Now you just drag your photo in. As you can see, if I lay it over the letter, it'll fill it. But if I want to make it a certain way, what I would do is highlight the photo and click send to back so that I can see the letter behind it. Now this photo is pretty large, so I'm going to bring it down. And then I like to zoom in right up in there so I can see exactly where the cut lines are. And then just make adjustments by making the photo smaller or bigger and then putting it where I want it. Now you would highlight both images, right click, nope, I lied, highlight both images, go to modify, and hit crop. Awesome, right? So I'm going to do the other letters really quick. I will fast forward this so you don't have to sit here and watch me do it. Now you can see that I have all of them in there. There's a little trick you can do because sometimes when you have letters like the I or the O, you might not be able to fit your image in very well. So what you can do is highlight your image and go to your palette and then hit the patterned one and then go to advanced options and go to scale. Now let me zoom in so you can see it a little better and watch what's going to happen when I move it. When as I move the numbers down, the image gets smaller and then it begins to repeat itself. So then I can see her face in it. So for some of these, you might want to change the scale or leave it how it is. It didn't really look that bad. Or you can have the image repeat in itself. And that is how you would fill your letters or if you did an, an object, whatever, with real life pictures to do print and cut or to send it off to a place like Staples. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like and don't forget to subscribe. As always, thank you for watching. You guys mean a lot to me. You always help me out too. Um, until next time, as always, happy crafting!